read for you guys. Um, today we have a 3v3 quick battle. Um, I went into quick battle with um, Pharaoh O War, who is. I think you recently saw him lead the green skins against Turin and on Turin's channel. Um, and this time he uh, he'll be foot of gorking some people, I hope. Um, just like in that video. <laughs> um, and so it is a Empire Greenskins and Wood Elves versus Bretonia Empire and Dwarves. Um, so very interesting battle, very large battle um, on a um, very PvP m map. Um, you can see there's this big blocker in the middle that we're both sides are going to be using. There's this huge line of trees that we'll be using as well. Um, as well as this kind of main open battle line area. Um, surprisingly, not many, not none of us went on this side um, to go around, so it'll be very interesting. But we will just slow mo it so we can get some music. Um, I am leading the Empire here, and I brought a steam tank. I'm going to be hopefully getting some pot shots on the dwarves like I like to do with the steam tank. Um, I do have two great swords and two swordsmen here as my front line really didn't know who I was going to be up against, so I tried to bring an army that would be good against all three of these factions. Um, I do have one unit of crossbowmen and one unit of silver bullets. Um, and then in the back I do have a full line of spearmen, four spearmen. I do have the Royal Altar of Griffites, who will be um, critical in this battle. Um, I do have, of course, the Lore of Life and Boris. So goal will be to try and keep all these valuable units like the steam tank, the heroes, the demigriffs, sorry, um, and the great swords. Um, try and get as many of those people into one pocketed earth blood as possible. Um, so we'll be seeing how well I can maybe accomplish that. <laughs> Pharaoh War here has a um, Savage Orc front line, Savage Orc Biggins here in the back. Um, he does have some spiders in the forest, some boar biggins in the forest, um, and some more Savage Orc biggins up front. Uh, he does have Wurzag here on his boar, um, who will be dropping um, some foots and uh, other such stuff. It's sad we can't see him dancing. Um, and he does just have a Goblin Big Boss on foot here. He had some extra cash. And this one he does have on a spider. Uh, and of course, Hammer of Gork will be um, targeting the dwarves and the hand gunners. Uh, because what does it do here? I think it inflicts blindness, whatever that means. Um, yeah, so minus 40% accuracy if it's hitting a range unit. So that can be really devastating. Um, the Wood Elf is going to be hard, but suffice it to say, um, Glade Guard with Starfire Shafts, um, two units of War Dancers, um, Wildwood Rangers. Nice hardy tree front line. Um, some more just eternal guards spread out. And I believe they do have a um, the two wild riders here. And um, they do have a glady over here. Um, there should be a spell slinger somewhere. Um, but I can't seem to find it. No, oh, here it is. Okay. Spell Singer of Shadows, so hopefully we'll catch some uh, cool spells coming down. What spells does she have? Um, Mind Razor and Miasma and Pit of Shade, so interesting combo there. Um, definitely like it. So we'll be going up against the Empire. You can see they do have some Free Company Militia, uh, four deployed over here in the forest, scouting ahead. Some Demigriff Knights out here um, will be coming in to support them. Um, they do have a main line. Um, they have two handgunners up here, um, two handgunners in the or three handgunners in the back. Um, some spears, flagellants, more flagellants, a light wizard, a second light wizard, <laughs> um, more Todd Ringer here, and I think that about sums up the Empire player. Um, you can see this Bretonian player has a huge main line of men at arms with shields, Grell Reliquae, um, huge line of foot squires, um, peasant bowmen in the back with a large cavalry contingent of Grail Knights, led by a Paladin. Um, and he does have one Paladin on foot to kind of hold up the middle, and um, the Fey Enchantress is running out in front with her Unicorn. Um, we go over to the Dwarves. The Dwarves have a main line of Longbeards here. Warriors of Dragonfire's Pass on that side, Grumbling Guard on this side. I would have liked to see these guys in the middle so that their Aura could have hit as many people as possible. 
Um, he does have um, two units of hammerers who can kind of go wherever they need to be, and then three units of rangers who are, of course, hidden. Um, he does have Ungrim leading the charge with a runesmith and a thane. Don't usually see these guys, but um, he's got two of them, one on each flank, providing some definite hitting power. Um, definitely scary infantry corps here, no artillery from them. So this is going to get off to a pretty quick start here on the left side. You can see my steam tank is already p taking pot shots. Um, did some damage to this hammer and will now be s going on to this one. Just trying to make him charge. I will actually be um, moving my main line up, moving my silver bullets over here so they can kind of shoot into the sides um, and while, while we kind of jockey for position. Um, but over here you can see these free company militia are coming up. We can watch as this glady comes around to support. Hopefully these biggins don't get shot. I was more microing my side of the battle when this was happening. Oh man, so these biggins taking a volley or two, but they are in the trees and they do have that physical resistance. So it won't be the worst thing in the world, and I think they're going to get caught here by these biggins. And these biggins with their huge melee attack and their huge weapon strength, and these wild riders are just going to tear these guys apart. Um, but you can see these battle lines forming up. The orc boar boy biggins also supporting on this side. Um, the biggins up here in the middle. Um, and it looks like he's going to keep these guys ready. A huge net netting down all these wild riders. Pretty terrifying. Would have liked to see that before the charge of the free, before the free company militia got scared off. But lots of microing to be done. You can see some hand gunners are shooting in here from the sides. But again, not too much damage. Um, peasant bowmen are firing in. Grail knights going into the forest against biggins and wild riders. Definitely not the fight they're going to want. Um, you can see here... The Wood Elf player has moved out some of his troops and now has netted these guys and is shooting them in the side. Definitely great use of these guys. And the magic damage will um, get rid of their physical resistance. So definitely terrifying for those Grail Knights to be getting shot at by these Glade Guard. Um, you can see these Wild Red Rangers took a decent amount of damage, but these biggins in here are just going to punish these Grail Knights. Um, they are in the forest, so I believe they... Um, they have a negative like 80% attack here in the forest, um, so it's not good. You can see, uh, actually it's not depicted on there, but large units do not like to fight in the forest, um, and they will be taking some penalties. Over here you can see just kind of delaying action on my side, um, moving up some spearmen off this side and these spearmen out here, and just again shooting more and more at these guys. You can see dealing some damage to these hammers um, as they move up. These ground lights are being annihilated. And these demigriffs are in here. But again, getting up against these Savage Orc Biggins in the forest, they're not going to do very well as these Wild Riders pull out and these Biggins get a nice charge in here um, against these guys. Here you can see great use of a Paladin running out here. He's going to try and shut down these Eternal Guard with Spears. He is kind of isolated, but he's so cheap and he's such a small threat that it is just going to be very disruptive over here. Um, I really would have liked to see this main line start getting engaged here. Um, you really can't wait, and while these biggins are destroying your cav, you really need to get in there to support. Um, you can see the Empire are doing a very good job moving up these hand gunners ready to support. Um, these free company militias routing out as these <laughs> reinforcements come in. Very Empire-esque. Um, and again, just jockeying for position up here in the middle. Steam tank still firing. I'm in no rush. Um, you can see my silver bullets getting a couple of volleys off into these warriors. Um, but they do have shields, so and they ma have magic resistance, so I was really not very happy when um, I was faced up against the dwarves. Really, my range, both my range units are essentially useless. Um, you can see these Grail Knights are getting a ton of damage put down on them. As my crossbowmen start opening fire, um, I'm going to move them onto these hand gunners here soon. Um, and you can see this elf player just doing a great job with greenskin support of doing a ton of damage to these demigriffs. Um, you can see spider riders in here as well. Oh man, is a comet going to come down? You can see Ferrovor trying to pull out. Is he going to pull out in fa fast enough? You can see he's mostly going to dodge that comet, so really good micro there, saving those guys from a ton of damage. Um, and finally, of course, this Bretonian player is coming in. These biggins are essentially dead, but wilder rangers are going to charge in. These wilder rangers are going to destroy everything here. 
Um, there's really nothing here that can contend with them, not even foot squires. Um, and they are in the forest, so they do have charge defense against all, I believe. Um, let's go take a look at that, actually. Charge defense against large. Um, and a huge bonus versus um, large. They already do a ton, and then they add an extra 8 on top of that. It's terrifying. Um, so definitely do not want to be fighting those guys there. Oops, sorry, wrong button. You can see the Glady over here chased off that Paladin as these Grail Knights continue to take damage. My, uh, you can see our line starting to form up. You can see I've done a considerable amount of damage to this Hammer Unit with my Steam Tank, and I'm happy to just continue doing that. Um, as this mucking, this fight continues to be mucked up, these tree can are going to get in here. Nothing really here is going to have too good of a time against these guys. And you can see just great spear defense from my ally here. There's really no place for these um, Grail Knights to go. They could rear charge here, um, but that would just open them up to huge volleys um, here. Um, I think he is going to try and run the gap, try and get at some of these guys potentially um, as another net, I believe, comes down here. You can see... Um, just trying to not engage here, let this Hammer of Gork do as much as it can, um, doing some nice damage to the Grumbling Guard. Um, I realized at this point that I probably wasn't going to win this fight. Um, you can see I have moved my Demigriff Knights around, um, and they are on this side trying to help out because I thought the Dwarf player was just going to continue avoiding a fight, so I moved them over here, and they did get trapped in this. Um, but my idea was get them over here, help and eliminate this all this stuff, and then maybe even I'll be recharging these guys and then coming around here. So just a huge threat um, as this wonderful pit of shades comes down. Great target too, um, if that is overcast. I'm um, going to rip these spearmen apart, rip these foot squires apart. You can see some elves getting in on that jumping action as Boris flies overwatch. Um, orc chariots are still on my side, luckily, um, as I'm starting to call for help, <laughs> as uh, this is not looking too good. My army was not really made to fight dwarves. You can see spearmen coming in here. Um, my great swords are going to get a charge on these longbeards, and they should do pretty well. Here comes this um, orc chariot, but great support from this empire player. It's going to net those guys down, and oh my god, the very expensive unit is going to be taken out there um, as Pharaoh War tries to kind of delay to give me some more time. Here you can see my demigriffs did get into the back of these foot squire units, tore them apart with their armor piercing damage, and now look at these juicy, juicy peasant bowmen. And I'll be shutting them down so that these um, Glade Guard are, are not going to be taken off the field too early by these um, Bretonian, cheap Bretonian peasants. Um, over here you can see I have a nice pocket of engagement on this side. I'm trying to limit how much of this army is engaged at once. Um, I have a tiny pocket here, and what I'm going to do essentially is run away or just not engage purposely yet um, with this side because uh, I'm not sure I can really win. Uh, you can see I'm doing some decent damage to these rangers, but really n the silver bullets are not going to do very well against the dwarves. Would have been much better to just move them away over here and start attacking this flank of the empire with them. Um, but, you know, hindsight is 2020. So, uh, you can see here in the middle, blogged down, these Eternal Guard in the forest are going to live forever and just kind of hold these guys down as these tree can tear through the middle. Um, and you can see these Demigriff Knights getting ready, getting ready for a mean charge, and they do cause terror. So um, these peasant bows are just going to get ridden off the field by these um, Demigriffs, just tear into these guys. Um, there are some more Free Company Militia. Um, there's this back of the line, so my demigriffs are in a very terrifying position here. I can go after this fey, I can hit the main line, I can go into this forest here, but I really don't want to do that. Um, and you can see this empire player still jockeying for position. Um, you can see a lot of pharaoh war stuff. Two savage orc brigands still yet to be engaged, um, but his chariots did get run down. You can you can see this hammer of gork is moving back. Great choice there. Don't want it to die too easily. Um, and you can, yeah, you can see this Thane is just going to be pulling through and chasing these silver bullets, making them even more useless. I'm going to be bringing these spears in the back eventually, and my steam tank is going to come in here and try and make this line even stronger. Um, nice shots there in from the silver bullets. These crossbowmen are trying to trade with the rangers, but they will lose. Um, and these great swords have finally engaged, and these great these great swords have engaged, and these swordsmen as well. 
Um, you can see he's still trying to keep reserves here. These guys are going to charge in. And I'm going to kind of hold these spears in reserve. You can see over here, all of these archers have now routed. Um, I find I dealt with the remaining free company militia. I'm going to be bringing this guy, these guys, in against the Fey, and then in against Boris. So really using those guys to the best of their, um, to the most uh, on this left side. Definitely could have used them to shut down these um, rangers, uh, but they were over here, and there were so many targets. I really didn't feel like I had the time to break them away. Um, these wild riders are in a great spot here. Um, this Bretonian doesn't. This Bretonian player doesn't have any extra units here to uh, block up the pass. Um, I mean this flank. Um, but as you can see, they're all kind of just in the middle here. Miss Mike Road. Um, in the forest, it's very hard to tell who's fighting and who's not, and that can be very um, devastating. You can see these flagellants mixed in with the hand gunners, um, and these greenskins waiting for the opportune time to charge. It's just so cool. These flagellants <laughs> fighting these spiders. Grail knights in here. I thought these guys were dead, but you can see in with big ends, so they won't be. That won't be too great of a fight for them. And you can see uh, this main line is going very poorly for me. These great swords are losing. Um, I've been constantly healing these great swords. You can see they are um, being regrowthed. <laughs> you can see this thing continuously chasing these silver bullets to try and get them away. Um, but he can just keep pulling away from my spearmen, so it's definitely difficult. Um, and you can see Boris is going to come in here against this runesmith. Um, and you can see these rangers just having free range of the battlefield, essentially. Um, they are picking up my jade wizard. I would have liked them to shoot in here against these spearmen, would have done a ton of damage, or maybe shoot against these crossbowmen, because they just have free range. And I've moved them to the side, and they'll be shooting in against the hammers. Um, they do not have very much armor-piercing damage, but they do have some. And in the flank, um, that's really the best they can do, is just hit these guys. Uh, you can see these grail knights being cleaned up. These, uh... Gunners are shooting at the Fey, um, as the demigriffs have taken her down to almost half health here. Um, but they are going to be moving on. I see that this Glade Lord is in danger, and this is just something that can't happen. So I'm going to swarm Boris, and with their huge anti large, you can see that charge there doing a ton of damage. Um, here, the green, the elf player essentially has one, um, and you can see they still have a lot of troops here. Oh man, look at this dropping a great vortex on these two units, tossing some Empire troops. Um, I would have liked to see it right here, maybe it would have been better, um, but again, very difficult to see. You can see the Light Wizard still flying around, um, and these Glade Guards still in very good, a lot of them have um, decent amounts of health and still a lot of ammo, so a lot of use there. Um, and you can see all these remnants getting ready to come back in as uh, these Demigriffs duel with Boris. And they're going to love this fight. They just are devastating. 56, all of that, 56 um, plus 30. <laughs> so that's a huge weapon strength against Boris here. And all of it is getting through, um, or most of it, um, because he doesn't even have that much armor. Um, and you can see here, again, just not going too well. I think I'm. Here we go, is being dropped by my ally. Great job supporting my uh, great swords. I didn't see that the first time around. And you can see Boris just got smacked down by Ungrim, so definitely not the best. Um, and again, these <laughs> silver bullets are just getting chased by this Thane. It's endless, and you can see the steam tank getting in there, tearing stuff up, and I'm going to drop a nice earth blood here, and I'm um, shooting into the back of these warriors as well. Finally, these spearmen who flanked all the way around are getting in there. Um, definitely mismicroed them a bit. You can see finally this flank has been cleaned up, um, and as long as I can, you can see Boris here not doing too hot. He is going to start wavering and fighting against Ungrim. No one is going to be very happy, and there Boris breaks off the battlefield. Um, luckily, I still have my Jade Wizard nearby, I believe. Maybe. Somewhere in there. Ooh, Foot of Gore coming down on these Rangers, finishing them off. As uh, I did call for help, and he did send his biggins in here to shut these guys down. You can see this middle is finally cracked. Um, and now we're just taking down a huge cadre of dwarven heroes that I really have no answer for um, except for these great swords. You can see these rangers in here fighting as well. Um, 
the demigriffs did, you can see they did take down Boris here in the middle with very little casualties. Um, and they did take a ton of damage though, and now um, they will be going after this paladin. So again, just trying to take out as many of these core units as I can. Um, make sure, try and hit their morale where it hurts. Um, especially for Bretonia and the Empire, who have lots of cheap infantry. You can see there, these paladins just getting taken out. Um, another great target would have been this Fey Enchantress. Would have been great to get them in there. Um, but on this side, you can see this pocket of just constant earth blood has kept this great swords alive. It's kept these this steam tank in the fight, and you can see it's healing Boris up. Um, what I'm really doing is essentially just running away from Ungrim. I can't beat him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, really. <laughs> um, so uh, you can see here, crossbowmen firing in, trying to clean these guys up, keeping my empire or my jade wizard over here just to um, keep morale up and you can see the steam tank is being chased and I'm just ignoring them essentially I don't want that um, you can see this Thane is finally surrounded by spearmen and my silver bullets are cleaning up some of the troops that are coming back um, definitely did not use them to the best of their ability here flagellants are being shot at by crossbowmen which is a great move and you can see these um, boar biggins are going to come back into the fight and um, start striking at these leftover units you can see finally did take out these this paladin um, and it is starting to turn in our favor you can see um, really just this pocket of empire resistance and then this dwarven set of heroes you can see I'm finally dealing with this runesmith this guy is gonna get terror routed out the field but Ungrim unbreakable of course is um, left and he is taking out that steam tank doing a ton of damage as I just blob in as much infantry as I can um, Grim does have a ton of armor, so my swordsman won't be doing too well. Um, you can see the hammer of Gork still alive, with crossbow and out of ammo. Um, yeah, you can see these handguns are still firing. Is another net going to come down here? This would be a great time for a net. Yeah, so <laughs> great use of net there in the late game, um, getting the most out of these gunners. Um, but you can see they are kind of moving forward. They're not getting the best shots. They are in the trees. Um, so that does make it very difficult. And you can see here just wiping wiping out Bretonia. The Grail Reliquary is keeping the Fey in um, the fight, um, but she is being slowly destroyed. And of course these demigriffs, resplendent blue demigriffs, are uh, going to be crossing the battlefield to eliminate the final Empire resistance. Silver bullets in the back. And you can see I finally just kind of pulled out and uh, there's really nothing left of the dwarfs thanks to Vera of War coming in and getting that flanking attack. You can see over there the Fey has died. Demigriffs are chasing off some routed units. And really that's it. It's just Ungrim and some Flagellants. And <laughs> These uh, Demigriffs are going to be coming back to uh, deal with Thorgrim, or no, with Ungrim. All sorts of Grims. Um, and this is how this game is going to end here. You can see my crossbowmen fighting off the final ten flagellants. Um, and there is one more thing I want to show you in this battle. Very fun. Uh, very interesting. You can see Ungrim with almost very little health left. And in comes the foot of Gork. <laughs> oh man, just like the least effective thing you could ever do. Very, very fun. Sorry about that. The uh, mic cut out there for a second. You can see just the devastation of the foot of Gork. Um, we knew we had this one in the bag, so it was um, very fun, I think, watching these poor Empire troops who thought they were going to get out of this unscathed um, just stomped out. Now, uh, Ungrim is going to be put down here by this the royal altar of Griffites. Um, <laughs> This battle does end here. You can see all the hammer of Gork coming in, laying a smack down on the Empire infantry. Glady even getting in on the killing of the Empire troops. Did their best to hold this right flank. And man, I just love the steam tank. 
in uh, multiplayer battles. It's just so cost effective. It can really tackle any situation. Losing frames as the uh, Glade Lady comes in. Um, and it is going to be a Fyric victory. Um, as a final Earthblood actually does come down. <laughs> trying to save as many of my troops as I can. Um, so just very fun battle here. Um, very crazy, hectic 3v3. Um, as 3v3s tend to be. Um, you can see here my spearmen doing their job, just holding the line. These great swords doing a great um, 147, 104, um, both getting chevrons um, from the fight, so uh, definitely doing good work there. Um, crossbowmen doing pretty well, and the silver bullets actually getting more kills than I thought. Um, you can see these royal altar of Griffites, definitely an MVP of this match, um, getting 76 kills. Um, second MVP uh, is the steam tank, got three chevrons. Um, during that battle, uh, killing hammers and more hammers and helping kill Ungrim. Um, 124 kills there, so definitely pulling its weight. Um, you can see Boris here, not getting very many, uh, but uh, not dying, which is his what he's best at. You can see here, Savage Orcs always doing well. Um, this one just full health, so definitely have a lot of fight left in it. Uh, 50, 100, 74, 77, definitely a big killer here, 67, 79 doing a ton of work. Um, even Wurzag and the Goblin Big Boss doing good stuff. The Orc Chariot, though, did get shut down. Um, over here you can see this Spell Singer of Shadows with 115 kills. You saw a ton of the Pits of Shades coming down. Um, the War Dancer is doing very well as well. Um, and these these Wild Riders with 174 kills, so good. Um, definitely all of these guys, very great performers for the Wood Elves. Definitely held back a ton of infantry um, on that left flank. Um, you can see the Bretonian here. The uh, Foot Squire is not performing as well as you would think. And these poor Grail Knights, these are the ones that got netted very early on and then shot to death by the uh, Glade Guard with Starfire Shafts. Um, getting only four kills, so very sad. Um, but this one doing okay. Definitely would have liked to see them uh, not go in there against those big ends of Pharaoh of War, um, who did get a chevron from them. Um, and you can see these Peasant Bowmen uh, starting to get in position when my Demigriff Knights came in. Um, to wipe them out. Uh, you can see here Boris with zero kills, definitely only fighting large targets like the Glady. Um, you can see these five wins not doing as well as you'd think. Free Company Militia got shut down. These handgunners just not able to really find their place um, in that very forested map. Um, would have been devastating if these guys had kind of just been focused on me and I would have had to charge a line of these five handgunners. My poor two great swords would have been torn apart. Um, and you can see the Light Wizards just doing their job netting a ton around the field. I'm sure I missed a couple of their nets. Um, and you can see here this Dwarf player. Um, the Hammer is just not really performing very well. Um, they didn't get in against my Great Swords. They really got in against my Swordsmen. Um, these Rangers just shooting at, really shooting at my heroes. Um, would have liked to see them shoot at my Spears or my, um, even my Great Swords they do pretty well against. You can see the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass. Always love them. Definitely a powerful unit with that anti-infantry bonus. Um, and these Longbeards, yeah, just not performing too well against the uh, Greatswords, I think. And these Grumbling Guard here, I don't know what happened. They got 18. But you can see all the heroes, except for this Thane here, um, doing pretty well. Runesmith even getting in there, getting some kills. Um, and Ungrim definitely slaying my heroes, making them rout. Um, putting a hurt on that steam tank, just not able to quite finish it. Um, which can be a problem with the dwarves. Um, but anyways, great game to my opponents, and um, thanks to Pharaoh of War for joining Quick Battle with me, and um, thanks for watching. That's that.